Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Uh, case update, patient who had a transmetatarsal amputation in conjunction with what we call a gastrocnemius recession. Uh, this is the patient that we, um, that we lengthened his Achilles tendon a little bit. Uh, just to make sure that he's able to move el piececito para arriba para abajo. No, eh, que le So he can able, so he's able to do that, right? Up and down to reach the 90 degrees. Now, um, this is a very, when we talk about saving limbs and saving lives and the world of limb salvage, this is, um, this is the quintessential example. Uh, aside from uh, his diabetes, uh, more than anything, his his level of vascular disease is extremely significant. Macrovascular and microvascular. So, you know, sometimes, and I, and I said it in the past, sometimes, you know, the, we, we have to go get the blood. We have to go backwards. Backwards, I mean up. So not only did he have a vascular intervention, uh, the toes had no blood whatsoever. So we had to basically, you know, put the car, so to speak, in reverse and go back and look for the blood. And that's exactly, this is a level at which uh, there's sufficient, right, blood supply to heal the transmetatarsal amputation. And as everyone can see here, you know, today we, it's been day 25, day number 25 since the surgery. And this is totally normal. This area is healed, healed. Um, here, you know, this is very fragile. This is all very fragile. It's a, a little bit open here, but you know, this is expected in, in these cases. This is extremely expected for a lot of reasons. Um, he's uh, sort of, uh, for uh, the patient is like a salmon is swimming against the current, right? He's uh, the diabetes, the vascular disease, um, you know, the organism in its totality, right? Everything is pushing him, not healing uh, and not allowing this area uh, of the foot to heal. But all in all, 25 days, I think he's doing really well. Uh, I've seen the, again, very, very challenging cases. Uh, come around here. So what we're gonna do uh, now is I'm just gonna put a little, uh, what we call a, ret uh, a retention suture. Okay, just continue and uh, give them a nice focus there. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna, this is the area where it's uh, uh, just a little bit open. There was a little scad there. So come around here, Elizabeth, please. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a really, really, right? And what we're going to do is just put a little, call it a, a retention suture. Okay. Just to really Uh, I broke the suture by mistake, but it's okay. Okay. So, as everyone can see now, okay, that'll hold that area. Okay. And uh, we want to make sure we keep everything covered. Because when we do these amputations, it's a fish mouth, right? It's a fish mouth, just like this. And the problem is that if right here, I'm not sure exactly at what level, but the bone is, the bones are here, the ones that they cut. So we want to make sure we maintain everything closed during the healing process to make sure he doesn't end up with bone infection. Let me, let me just throw another little 
here, just make sure we get a good view there. Come out here. So I'm gonna put a little suture right here. Again, from here to here. Now we'll keep everything nice and tidy for the time being. We'll leave these in maybe for another week or so, maybe 10 days, while everything continues to heal from the inside out, okay? So I just wanted to give everyone a, a quick update on this patient. The bottom line is we spend a lot, a lot of time, you know, anything that's related to limb salvage and the lower extremities takes time, lots of it. A lot of patience, a lot of time. We invest a lot of everything to making sure that we save these limbs. Um, I will keep everyone afloat on his progress uh, next week, and then um, everything is, uh, you know, the implementation of aggressive local wound care and him doing what he needs to do on his end, which is extremely important. He'll continue to do that. He's been on uh, using the wheelchair, which has been critical, but he's doing well otherwise. Thank you for watching.